Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to make pockets out of tabs off of boxes. This one's off a Kleenex box. And I'm going to make five of each, except for these. And I got four of these tabs. These are off different boxes. Okay, and they're different. They all look different. But with this one, like right there, I'm going to cut that off. On both sides and we'll lock. And I got one of these tabs here and if you have the glue that's left over on this side or the other side if you think it'll give you a problem on the other side just peel it off. But I got this one. I got this one. It's a tiny tab. <laughs> really tiny. Some of these are off of Kleenex. Most of these are off, all of these are off a of Kleenex box. And I didn't have an extra one. So I just traced it and made another one. Okay. And then I have these ones. These are all off of multiple different kinds of boxes. Kleenex box, but these ones aren't. And I have one here. And I have this, this is a tab on top of the Kleenex box that you peel off. I only had two of them, so I kept one for a demo and then I traced it. And as you can see on this one, I did it perfectly when I cut it out. And on these, well, I guess these two I did, but these two I did not. So I took my fit scares. What is this? Two inch. And I just put it in there like this and did it that way because I screwed them up. Okay. So we're going to put one there, move these out of the way. Then this, I did an extra one because I only had four of them and I want five of each. So for again, these ones. So I made an extra one. Okay, just off Kleenex boxes or tabs off boxes. It's all they are. Okay, beautiful beings. And then as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of scrap paper. Okay, so these are all scrap papers. And I'll come back and show them to you and show you how to use them. And on time allowing, I'll decorate some for you. Okay, beautiful beings. And we're going to use them do our tabs and these tabs will create unique looking little tuck spots and pockets for us so we can change it up a little bit I'm gonna glue all these down on camera just these ones and I'll fast forward it and then I'll do the other ones off camera and I like to keep rubbing it until I see all the corners of the paper that way I know it's nice and glued down And if you want to do the wrap around look, make sure you leave enough paper so you can wrap it around all the sides. Okay, just a little reminder if you want to do it that way. And I want to point out that my scrap papers, it doesn't matter which way they go. So watch for that in case you're using one. It does matter to remember to put it the right way you want it. Okay. <laughs> and just flip them over, make sure they look all right. And there you go and I'll do the rest of them and I'll be back beautiful beings oh hey beautiful beings sometimes I get ahead of myself I made these okay I sewed around it then I went around this one it's like this one I went around it with some paint and then I was playing with them and I'm thinking I found this I put it here and that looks like a little envelope on the pocket. And I think they're adorable. 
I'll show you everything else, but what I'm working on is these. And I found this in another video. I could not find this. I wanted to use it on something and I couldn't find it. And I just found it when I went to look for this. Because I wanted real thin, real thin ribbon. But I want a piece of white for green. Okay, on the green, I left the tails of the thread and I put little beads like that. They're from Dollar Tree, except for the flower. The flower is not. And I don't think those white tiny ones are either. But these are what I used right here. And these are from Dollar Tree. This one is not. These are not the... Not the glasses, <laughs> the beads. <laughs> so I want to take a piece of this and tie it to this. But I think how to start it, I'm going to have to tie the thread and the ribbon together. And I'm going to make sure I do it way up to the top, below the bead. So we can get there. This is why I'm sure. This is why I really didn't want to do this on camera. Because sometimes it's really tricky. I don't have the other bead. I want the other bead down there. For you, beautiful beans. I'm going to do it on camera. I'm just pushing that one bead so I'm right at the tip. And I'm tying a knot right at the end of where the beads are. Then I'm going to tie another one. And I still got that thread in there, which I don't mind. Flip that over. Manipulate this so it comes closer somehow. And I'm going to snip a piece off. And there we go. Okay. Just a little embellishment on the thread. Hey, beautiful beings. So, got that one done. And I showed you all the beads. Let me zoom in so you can see the beads. Because I'm going to put them away. And I'm going to get the blue ones out. Okay, beautiful beings. We're going to move this one out of the way. It's done. And I just found these, but I don't know if they're too big. I kind of like that. I'm trying to pick the smallest things to go on these. I was hoping there was a smaller one, but I'm not seeing a smaller one. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It might be too big. I got my blue beads. Let's move this stuff over. I'll bring this in. And here's all. Oh, these might be from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. These white ones. These are the stars are because they're glow in the dark. They're probably laying around, so I threw them in there. But I don't know if these little tiny white ones or the little tiny blue ones in there are. But I know that all the other ones are from Dollar Tree. Okay. So I'm gonna start with a pattern. And I'll probably fast forward it because depending, I'm gonna wet the thread depending on how long this takes <laughs> I will fast forward it I don't want dark blue I want all light blue I'm just trying to use up these beads because as you can see I have a lot so every chance I get to put them on thread I try And maybe this one. I already got that one. I got some over here. I might use some and not use some. But I'm thinking 
I definitely want this in there in the middle, but I want to get rid of these two. I have to say these. These are from Walmart. I got two bags for a dollar, and I got abundance of them. So I'm trying to use them. They're just clear diamond shaped beads. Beautiful things. It's a big one on there. There's S's on there. We'll just say S for success. <laughs> now I'm going to start the same pattern I did on the other side of the light blue block. Now this is the part that I don't like doing. Because this is where you gotta get the knot all the way up there. See, and I failed. Do it again. And I can't lift it. Let me zoom in. I mean, I'm sure you know how to do this, but I'll zoom in. Just trying to get that knot all the way up to the bead. Way off. See the knot's way off. Takes a couple tries. There, that's closer. I'm just going to take a piece of this. Right now I'm going to take a piece of this. Cut a piece off. Get that out of the way now. And we're going to do the same thing. Try to tie a knot with the thread. Like we did on the other one. tight as you can against the ribbon, but we have to have that string in there too. Okay, I'm gonna pull another one, do another knot, and we're good. There, and voila. And if you want, you can cut this off. But I'd leave some dangle, because, you know, you don't want your Piece to come apart. We got that one done. And then you're going to have to manipulate this, like set something on it or keep it pinched together overnight with something. Well, that looks good. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to bring this one in. I got the curls. I don't know if those are the same size, are they? Yes. Curls are from Dollar Tree. Some of the other ones aren't in here. I have different panel curls. I don't know how many we're gonna need. But stinking. I got the pink jar. Not stinking. This one matches better than that. And these are huge. I wish they were smaller. Here's a smaller one. I'll put that on there. Because it's not pink. And that kind of matches. 
So I think I'm going with those three. Okay, we have wings. I think I am. I might put a little small ones in between. Okay. And there's a knot in this one. And I don't think those, they might fit. We'll find out. No, I want to cut the knot off. Scissors. And I probably should zoom you in. Again. There we go. And let's begin. Went down our thread. This one had three pieces of thread, so it was really hard to get through the holes of the pearls because some of them had some of the plastic stuck in front of the holes. <laughs> so, and I know you get the gist of it because you're all brilliant, beautiful beings. So I'm just going to fast forward this part until I tie it. This one is a pain in the butt because it's got three pieces of thread. That's why it gave me so much problem, but I'm gonna try. Try not this there. Right tight against that. So hopefully this works. I want it a little longer. Now, there. Cut this off. We did it, beautiful beings. I thought this would look good with the. It's got a hint of pink to it, but it's more like a beige with a hint of pink. So whatever color that is. <laughs> yeah, that looks way better with that. I like it with that. This is from Walmart. I just cut it in half. You know the lace they sell at Walmart? I just cut this off because I like using them separate. Okay. But I like that. I think it's cute. Now we have a purple one and these beads, the holes in these beads are like for three pieces. Some of them are clear and some of them see like that one has plastic over it and it's hard to get the thread in. <laughs> so that's why I was having a problem with that. So I'm not even going to try those again. They'd be better with a little thin needle. I got purple here, but I have to put thread in it because I took it out. But I have thread by the sewing machine, so let me get it. Okay, beautiful beings, I got some thread. That's what I was thinking. Where do we put... Okay, this one's on the side. This one's on the top. This one's on that side. So maybe... We've got more beads for this one, though. Hey, let's put this one in the middle. And these aren't even lined up. Line up my thread. And they're wet. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna, we're going to hang it from here so I can get that thread in there. Okay. I got the white through. Come on, black. 
Um, get up in there. I didn't get this idea until I already cut this off. But I'm glad I did because I wanted it in the middle anyway. All right, there we go. Okay. It's right to our stitch. Tie a knot. Tie two knots. Let's do this side. It's not as long. I hope you've seen that. You did. Okay. I didn't check. <laughs> I didn't even check to make sure you were positioned right before I zoomed in. Alright, so take this, find the end where they're even, and then we're going to put some beads on here. I don't know which ones match, I got a whole bunch. This one matches more than anything, but I guess we can put different purples on it. I think this is pink, but it matches. I have another one. Ripple. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, beautiful beings? I think I'm going to put one of these on first. Just trying to wet my thread. And then mine. We'll put a ball on. Doesn't really match, but I think it looks good anyway. Let's see. I think this one matches the best. Do I have anything else I want to put on before? I need a sequence, beautiful beings. And they're way down here. So you're gonna get. A show. I need that pink, right? I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, I need something to put these in. This is the closest thing I had to me. Sequence. Let's turn it. Please have a sequence. I'm not getting more out. I did. All right. All that for a sequence, beautiful beings. But at least you got to see some different kinds of purple beads. <laughs> I got it beautiful beings. <laughs> I'm going to have to fast forward a lot of it. Because I'm sure you don't want to watch me argue with ribbon and thread. <laughs> okay. But here's these. Then I'll show you the other ones. I'm going to go check on the time. I think these are adorable. And then you look. You can have it to the side. You can have it here. And I did these all in three different lengths so you can see okay put one there in the middle and at the bottom and this one and i think they're adorable okay beautiful beings i'm going to give you a close-up of everything then i'm going to show you some in pocket files you can use them in pocket files or you can use them in your journals 
Okay, and there's a close up of our beads and our flower. But you can use all kinds of little things, even like school pictures. My brother, <laughs> when he was little. Beads, lace, just a little tag. These are great for little things to tuck in. And the side ones fit big tags. There's our S for success and our beads <laughs> and our ribbon. And then another one with another picture of my brother. I left this one plain so you can see what it looked like plain if you don't have a sewing machine. And this, I'm going to sew it. <laughs> I got to because a lot of the ones when I did wrap it around, they didn't turn out. They look way better. You can't really tell the difference. Like, where's one that didn't turn out? I think that one turned out. Yeah, that's a Kleenex one. That's a Kleenex one. Like this one. When I cut them out, they didn't look very good. And they look way better. You can't tell with the sewing around them. But you can hand sew them. And you can put lace on them. You can do whatever you want. If you don't want to hand sew them or you don't have a sewing machine. And then these ones. Again, I did some sewing and some without this one. I went around this one with paint with my finger. And then this one is sewed making tabs off cereal boxes, stuffing boxes, Ritz boxes, anything. Just making them all look beautiful. More of the longer tabs. But I think they all turned out cute. And then these ones. And I'll show you what you can use them for. Sewed. Paint around it. Sewed. Plain. And sewed. And I did wrap some of these around some of my some of them I didn't okay and then these ones I left this I'm gonna sew around it so you know what it looks like and then you add a pocket and put it that way and you put it that way whatever way you want and then these ones I met it mixed them Mix the colors. I thought they looked cute. And these would be great for tiny tags that you have and you just don't know where to put them. You can make these for them. And I like the mix look. I love it. And this way you get two pockets out of one pocket, which is awesome. We can always use more pockets, beautiful bangs. Okay. And here's one I just sewed down here. And again, a little tag. And that's what it looks like plain. Now I want to show you these. Like where you can put them. This one would be a left corner tuck. Okay. So that one's a left one. This one could be a right one. Okay. So we have several that are left bottom pocket and some are right bottom pocket. This is the top of the Kleenex box. Here, I'll show you. Put them together like this, and it's the Kleenex box. It has the middle part where you rip the tab up to get the Kleenexes out. That's what these are from. So you can have one going this way, or you can have one going that way. Okay, beautiful bangs. And they're great for little tags or anything little that you like to put in pockets. So let's move these and then I want to show you these ones. These can be up. You can have them up there like that or you can have them on the bottom like that. 
and then you can tuck stuff in. Okay. Just like that, and it will stay in. Okay. And if you want, you can have it on the side instead. You put it anywhere you want. See, you have a pocket down here, and it's big, and you want it a little tuck on the left to the right, depending on where you got the bottom pocket. You can put that wherever you want on each side. Okay, that side, or this side, or the top, or the bottom. Okay. Then we have our long flap pockets. You can put them this way if you want. This one's a little longer than my pocket flaps. So I might have to find one that fits on. You can have them going this way. This one you can have going up here like that. Nice tuck spot. You can have them on the bottom. Or if you want, you could put them on the side. I'm trying to pick a good side here for you. I think this would be a good one for the side. Okay, so this can go on the bottom. You can put them wherever you want, beautiful beings. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings, I hope you get inspired and give it a go. And if you make some and you want to send me pictures, can send them to loa underscore crafts at yahoo.com i'd love to see them and i'll even show them if you send them to me thanks for watching have a wonderful everything